All right, thank you for buying the ultimate fireworks pack. We already had a fireworks pack in the past, but through all the feedback that we've gotten, we wanted to make the ultimate one, the absolute best quality possible. And we provided you with more fireworks elements, transparent backgrounds, so much more possibilities, completely modular, and also in 4K resolution. So this is an amazing pack. We have provided you with a 4K folder and a Full HD folder. The Full HD folder is usually for people with slower machines. So I will tend to talk about the 4K folder uh, entirely throughout this video as bas basically the workflow is similar for both of these folders. If you open up one of these folders, you will see that we have 4K Fireworks Black and White, 4K Fireworks Glow, and 4K Fireworks Transparent Background. The name says itself for the Fireworks Transparent Background, you just have Transparent Background. So these elements can be imported in any decent editing software. I would suggest you to work with Glow and Transparent primarily. The black and white versions are for people with knowledge in After Effects and such, or people with knowledge on how to change and modify those colors to make the ultimate look, to make the ultimate fireworks. So I would tend to work with 4K Glow as these are actually the final looks of the fireworks. You can simply import them in your scene go to the time that you want them to be at, go to effects controls or how to move them in your editing software, position them wherever you want and scale them however you want and change the blending mode to screen. Immediately you'll see that it works. Amazing. So these already have glow. If you don't want to change the blending mode or you just want in transparent background, you can just import these and immediately you will see that they already work. It's basically a drag and drop system. But even here, a blending mode would always tend to make it look a little bit more natural. And the unfortunate thing with the transparent ones is that it doesn't have any glow applied to them. So here you will have to apply it yourself. The reason the transparent elements don't have any glow is because glow doesn't work with transparent backgrounds. Unless there is a darker background, it's not gonna look nice. For the people with a little bit extra knowledge, I just want to share you with this information. If you import the black and white version in Adobe After Effects, you can go and check these out right here. Now we can go and drag these on top of our footage. Set the blending mode to screen. reposition it to wherever you want and then you can color them however you want. I prefer to use a plugin but it's a completely free plugin at videocopilot.net. You can download VC Color Vibrance. Just google it, it's completely for free so I don't understand why you wouldn't be using this as this really gives you a very nice result when it comes to color. You can see right here that you can pick any color and it will basically look amazing. You also have a lot of control for the vibrance. You can play around with all these settings, which makes it a super fun plugin to play with. Once you are satisfied with your look, what you can do is add some glow from here. In this case, I would suggest you to use the perfect glow from our website, which is a freebie. You just drag and drop this on top of your fireworks and then you can play with the intensity and the threshold. So this is with the glow, this is without the glow and the color. This is without glow and with glow. So the glow really gives a lot more vibrance to your shot. This is a tutorial on how to use the fireworks elements. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.